Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Sincerely Legenia. Today I am making my very special recipe, my lemon thyme chicken. Excited to make it for you all today. So stick around so you can find out how to make this delicious chicken. Your family is going to absolutely love it. But first, if you have not yet subscribed to Sincerely Legenia, click that subscription button below, leave me a comment, and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. All right, let's get into this video I'm making for you guys today, lemon thyme chicken. Hey everybody, welcome back to Chicken Bites. I'm in a hurry. Oh, it is a beautiful about being able to make your own all-purpose seasoning. So in this recipe today, I'm gonna to show you guys how I make my own all-purpose seasoning today that we're gonna put on our chicken. We're gonna begin making our all-purpose seasoning using one tablespoon of salt, a tablespoon of paprika. I'm using a sweet Spanish paprika, one tablespoon of garlic powder, a tablespoon of dried parsley, one and a half teaspoons of black pepper, one tablespoon of onion powder, one and a half teaspoons of tarragon, one teaspoon of dill, one teaspoon of oregano, teaspoon of celery seed, one half teaspoon of ground coriander. And then lastly, one teaspoon of sugar. All right, from here, we're going to mix all of our ingredients up. All right, and there we have our homemade all-purpose seasoning. All right, guys, so I have my chicken here. It has been cleaned, and now it is time to season this. I know some people say you don't need to clean your meat. I'm sorry, I'm one of those that does. When I get um, open it from whatever package it is in, I do clean my meat. We use fresh lemons and that sort of thing to clean all of our meat. So anyway, um, here we have a nice, delicious, ready-to-prepare chicken. And I'm gonna first begin by my putting olive oil all over him and rubbing that in really well. What I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go in, um, I've got my chicken and I did wrap it with the uh, kitchen ties here. I should have I should have showed you guys how I do that. I'll make sure I do that the next time I do a, a chicken on camera. I'll make sure I show you guys how I tie that up. All right. But anyway, I'm going to go in and I'm going to separate the skin from the meat here because I am going to put some seasoning underneath there. Okay. I want this rest to be delicious and succulent. So I'm just putting my hand underneath to separate it just like that. Okay. And what I have here is some garlic and butter garlic and butter here. So I'm just going to, I've got, I just cubed some butter and I used some already chopped uh, garlic and I mixed it in. And I'm going to put this directly under the skin so that it can flavor, add more flavor. Okay. Let's put that garlic and butter and I'm putting about three pieces underneath there. I'm gonna do the same on the other side, about three pieces. Push it under there. All right. So we've got that under there. And now, and I do have a little bit more left over here. I don't want that to go to waste. So I am just going to put this, I could put it in the other side with the, but I'm gonna put it under the skin here on the side, on both sides here. Okay, I hope you guys can see that really well. All right. All right, so we've got that done. Yeah. 
So I'm gonna take these off. I'm gonna wash my hands. So I'm gonna get another pair of gloves here. And from here, I've got some fresh thyme leaves here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a few sprigs of this fresh thyme and I'm going to put it in the cavity of my chicken here. Just like that, get one more. I'm gonna put that in the cavity. And also along with that, I have some lemon slices that I'm also going to stick in the cavity of the chicken. I have about three lemon slices here. Those will go in there as well. And right along with that, I have some more chopped garlic here. I'm gonna put that in here as well. Now, I have chopped garlic. I do not have any uh, whole pieces of garlic. Uh, generally, normally I would put whole garlic cloves in there, but since I'm out, I'm gonna use the chopped. Now I'm gonna get the rest of my chopped garlic and I'm gonna rub it all over my chicken like this. Get that all over in there. Got in the sink. Put in every crack and crevice. Like so. I'm gonna remove my gloves. And now I have my homemade seasoning here. I'm gonna get that with my clean hand here and I'm gonna sprinkle it all over our chicken. all over all right i want to make sure you season it really well you can open up that cavity even and put a little bit in there i always do i believe in having very well seasoned food and yes we're going to turn it over we're going to season the other side too With my other hand, I'm gonna rub that in, like so. Now with that, I am now going to put the star ingredient on here and that of course is the thyme because again, this is lemon thyme chicken, right? So I have some fresh thyme here using more of that fresh thyme and I'm just going to take the leaves off as such. And what you do is you simply get the thyme leaves and just pull them back like that and they come off very easily, just like that, okay? I'm gonna add a little bit more olive oil on there. And lastly, I'm going to squeeze some fresh lemon juice all over. And there we have it. Now it's time to put our chicken in the oven and we're gonna put this in the oven at 500 degrees. That's right, I said 500 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes. And that's only so that the outside can get nice and golden brown. After which we're gonna turn the temperature down to 350 degrees. And we're gonna let it cook at 350 degrees for approximately 45 minutes to an hour. It's been in the oven for approximately 30 minutes at 500 degrees. Let's take it out and see what it looks like. Mm, fabulous, nice and golden brown on the outside. Now I'm going to 350 degrees. Now we're gonna let this cook for approximately 45 minutes. Okay, everybody, the chicken is ready, so I'm gonna turn it off. And there it is. All right. And we've got a delicious golden lemon thyme chicken ready to eat.